This is the February Solana ecosystem call update, basically a TLDR. I'm going to cover things as fast as I can, and I'm not going to be able to cover everything. So for more information, watch the whole thing. Starting with the saga, 85,000 pre-orders in three weeks. The second snapshot is coming soon. So please use my referral below if you haven't already got one. The shipment date is expected to be mid 2025, and it's going to be 450 USDC. Token extensions, this is something that's been talked about quite a bit, but people need to actually use them and start to develop for them. One thing is confidential transfers. By the way, Elusive.io already does this with some tokens, but this would be a little bit different. And we can also see something at the bottom, interest bearing tokens. Not sure exactly how it's going to work, but I'm excited to see these things actually being shipped. Tensor has shipped the price lock, so you can basically short or long by purchasing locks. I'll probably have to do a massive tutorial on this, but it's pretty important. It is a little bit challenging to understand though. However, if you hold something and then you want to kind of bet the price go up or bet the price go down, this is a very good tool to use and it's only available currently on Tensor. Dialect has gone and shipped the operator. So this is similar to BonkBot and I haven't actually tried it out yet, but give it a go and if needed, I can do a tutorial, but it should be pretty easy. It's got a very clean, nice UI. Helios has shipped the Smart Solana Fees API. So this API will help you set fees correctly to make your transactions land when the chain gets congested. So essentially, if you can very easily integrate it into your dApp, then you can push through a transaction and then have like a 100% success rate, nice and easy. Colosseum has launched. So this is an independent organization and basically they do global hackathons and accelerated and they also have a venture fund. I haven't looked into them, but I have actually seen a little bit on Twitter and worth a follow. 600 mil of dupe was airdropped in dupe annuary. Over 300 billion in monthly stablecoin volume. The developer ecosystem has 10x since 2020. I'd like to know how much since say 2021 when things were really kind of heated. But either way, there's a lot of growth happening now that we didn't actually have in 2021. 2021 was more about NFTs from my experience. Ironforge managed 10 million RPC requests an hour, and during January, it was 20,000 per second. NFTs on Solana are doing well, more unique wallets, unique buyers and sellers. Metaplex startup program begins. Metaplex are now offering grants and support and audits and stuff, trying to increase their market share as well as bring in new projects. Anza announces a new validator client. There's three more super teams, Malaysia, Philippines, and Balkan. Mountain Down Founders Villa have kicked off. So if you're in Salt Lake City in the US or in Dubai, see if you can go and attend one of these things. I've never been to one of them, but I've heard a lot about Mountain Dow over the years and Founders Villa, that's new to me. Japanese Yen Stablecoin is launching on Solana. Helium Hotspots are going to Mexico. Solana is going to be integrated into Farcaster and Farcaster is kind of like the network or decentralized platform that other people can build their social networks on. And I haven't played with it. So it sounds very, very interesting. I know we all love Twitter until we get scammed or we get suspended. And I think this is going to be far more important for crypto because let's be honest, most of us here are just there for the crypto follows. The real world, of course, follows sport and stuff, but we are mostly about crypto. So this is something that I want to check out. And in terms of their growth, it's been absolutely insane. Solana statistics. So the TPS, when you exclude the validator vote transactions, can be around 900, which is fantastic. And as it was basically mentioned by Cash, this is the highest that I know of actually any functioning blockchain. A lot of others can have theoretical maximums or they can push a lot through in a different way. But in terms of the actual demand being there, this is very, very high. Validators, there's been a decrease. However, that's because there's been some that have basically been taken off the Solana Foundation staking program because they were not like being great validators. So they lost the stole delegated to them that they're then earning the commission on from the Solana Foundation. Total staking accounts, fantastic. This is increasing. By the way, stake your soul with validator.com. I am the GM of validator.com and active wallets is up as well. There's a content hackathon is live. There's 40 different tracks, over $130,000 in prizes. And this is for content creation. So research, videos, memes, all that sort of stuff. I'll be getting into a few of these, of course, but you should as well. Normally, everything just relates to, you know, a dev, a dev task and dev task. So it's really good to see content. This is really, really cool. 2024 Hacker Houses, they're out. So New York City, March, Dubai in April and so on. There's a new initiative that's been launched. This is Cash Landing. And basically you can host something in your city 
and you'll be paid in order to cover your expenses for that if you bring in new people educating them about Solana and stuff like that. So this is done by Super Team DAO and I have no idea how it's actually done and I'm in Portugal and I don't speak Portuguese so I'm not going to do it myself but if you have the ability to do it you should definitely do something like this. There's a Moonshot Grants program if you want to build something it's dev focused of course full-time focus for four months that's the only requirement and these are some important upcoming events so Mountain Dow, Now, Super Team, UAE Founders Villa, then there's Mad Lads Meetup in Singapore, Learn to DLMM on Meteora with Cash and Ben. This is tomorrow. I think I'm busy at that time, but I will do my best to watch the recording. The DLMM from Meteora is really, really cool. It's a bit complex though, so I'll try and tutorial that next week. And there's a few other things happening as well. Just you can take a screenshot of this. By the way, a lot of people obviously want airdrops. So this is what you want to know in terms of airdrops, community finance, Tensor, Parcel, Magic, Eden, Drift, Meteora, Zeta, Margin Fire, and Cash is just a joke. But of course, the guy's a legend, so say nice things. This chat with Brian Johnson was unreal. I don't want to tell you anything other than watch it. Just watch the 10 minutes of this. This guy's very different. I really like him. He basically made millions of dollars. I can't remember the amount, maybe 800 million, something quite insane. And then his health wasn't the best. And then he just reversed his aging. Like he's older than I am. And God, I'm wrinkly and losing my hair and stuff. And he looks, he looks very, very good. Also his biochemical markers, all these things that you would basically test show that he's reversed his age the most out of anyone that's ever been tested, just hands down. So really, really impressive. And his brand is so simple, don't die. He has a thesis he shared in this and I would suggest following him and then also he's thinking about moving an aspect of his project onto the blockchain as long as it adds value to his company and yeah that part it'd be exciting to see but more like you know proof of sleep and proof of workout those sort of things maybe there's a point system there's an app or something that his team might create and I reckon that's really really cool. Get Grass is really really interesting and although I've got a referral link on this I haven't actually done a video but basically my referral link is below and I would suggest actually using this. So you install it onto your computer and other devices and then any extra bandwidth of your internet is used to crawl different websites and that is used to train AI in a way that is more decentralized and it allows it, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I do like it. I know that's strange, but I do like it. It's really all about earning a stake in the AI revolution and you'll know from other videos of mine, I'm quite bullish on gaming. They're coming down a bit of an AI rendering path in an aspect. And then you've got this, where you could be part of the AI network that's scraping the data, training, and then contributing to it. And then users can earn passive income for selling a resource they didn't even know they had. Really, really interesting is the fact they have 600,000 users across web and Saga app. And two thirds of all Sagas have downloaded the app. They're also hiring if you've got the skills to pay the bills. There was a review and basically Sion from Jupiter went through all of this stuff, really talking about the DAO. So we can see um, at the bottom there, this relates to the perps, $110 million worth of assets under management, almost 10 billion in volume in three months and 5,000 daily active users. They also have a $1,000 bounty. So the Perps product, I love Jupe. I've loved Jupe and if you've watched my videos, you know I love Jupe, but the Perps product, it's not as good as Drift. That's just the reality of it. Uh, so if you are familiar with Perps, if you go and give really detailed research and content to help them improve the product, then you could win the bounty. You have to do it via the Super Team Earn website, but I think this would be worth it if this interests you. Zero X people, this is really, really interesting. Basically, you can see the founder Prasanna S received uh, USDT worth 260K from Binance Exchange. He's a little bit more wealthy than the average person. Um, but the epic thing about this is people can either link their wallets or people can speculate and link wallets they think that belong to that person. And then you can track how that money flows. So you can follow your favorite uh, investor or influencer on Twitter. And then if you can follow them on this as well, you can be quite savvy. Like if someone says, I don't know, I'm going to, I'm going to pick on an ETH person like Crypto Lark. Oh, he's not ETH person, but he's more of an ETH person where he says, buy X token. And then you can see a day later or 12 hours later that he just puts in a sell order for a hundred thousand on chain of X token after he says, I'm really, really bullish on this. 
and I have high price targets and then he just goes and sells it. I mean, there's a lot more use than that, of course, but I'm going to start using this. There's lots of bounties for Tensor Creator competitions. I will be honest though, I'm researching price lock to cover it myself. By all means, be my competition. This is not the easiest thing to understand. So I'm pleased they put out a creator competition because to really understand it so you can explain like I'm five, it's going to be hard. But the best submission takes home a Tensorian, which is worth about seven grand. Jito has a job and that's basically a sum up. If you want to be a part of the Solana ecosystem call, the OGs, scan this here and be sure to try and get to this every month. Stay curious, catch you in the next video.